welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Search Reviewing Crowd. It's a very interesting play um, that we did Friday. So we did a we did a lot in this actually. So I did a day trade in this Friday that I shorted and got stopped. I didn't go back into it. We also did puts in this Friday that were gorgeous trades on Monday morning. Fell all the way down. And then I called more puts, which fell all the way down. Now got a lot of questions about this it gapped up today the market gapped up today it's pushing back here today do I still think this is lower yes again because in fact this is the low today here and this was 258.77 but because of the market rallying today this is green you know I was just explaining this to somebody on the phone earlier today nothing goes straight down and nothing goes straight up nothing it's just unrealistic if you can't stand the wiggles and jiggles then you can't hold for a bigger target in trades. And you could have got it out of everything this morning into the open, or you could have got out of everything that I called yesterday into the close. So again, to get a larger move, if anyone is still in any of the puts, which I called three different strikes, obviously the one on Friday that was the big mahunga was the best trade, but you must be patient to get a larger move in things because nothing goes straight down and nothing goes straight up. And I find that people tend to have horrible exits, don't get out when something is going its direction, wait till it reverses, then get out with a crappy exit, then it goes the way they wanted it to begin with. That's just the wrong thing to do. So part of, the, part of what I teach in the Golden Gap is not just targets. I actually teach something called exit signs. Exit signs, signs to get out. Um, that's something that I developed. Again, this is what you learned in the Golden Gap course. You, I developed specifically, specifically for the fact if I wanted to manage combined targets with exits and also if I didn't even want to hold to a target. Now, this happened to go to many, 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 many targets, though, to be honest with you. But I do still think it's lower. Let me fix this here. So, again, I had somebody call me today because because they're still in it. And I'm like, I still think it's lower, don't panic. But when you take a trade, you always know this possibility that the trade could lose. So you have to be willing to take the risk. You take the risk, and again, could have got out of this yesterday, could have got out of it this morning. But if you want the big move, the bigger move than the move that we've already had, you have to be willing to give it some time and space. Today is only Tuesday. Any options I called in this expire Friday, we'll see, we'll see. So. Good luck, everyone in the crowd. Again, if you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, you can email me. You can sign up for that subscription without having taken any classes, although I think the class definitely helps. Um, but crowd already was a huge call. And actually, depending on what strike you're still in here, it's ready in the money. So, I mean, there's just, it just was a really nice call. We'll see where this goes. Good luck, everyone.